Hi, I wanted to tell you a bit about this website that I have where I put all of my books. Uh, it basically displays them. And the way I currently do that is I create markdown files for each of them where I then store the data as YAML, not even using the markdown bit of it. I, I, I found out that this worked and I didn't really want to over-engineer anything. So uh, I did that. Basically, every time I read a new book, I go in and add a new markdown file. Uh, and I haven't done this all of 2022 because the process is a bit annoying. And I had in my in the back of my head that I actually wanted to build something uh, for this that's more like a, a CMS. Uh, now I went on to do that. I went on to put them into Sanity, which is the company where I work. And yeah, it's basically for storing any kind of content data. So it's perfect for this. Basically, uh, I have all my books there now, and I want to show you how I got from these um, markdown files into the Sanity. I can use Eleventy for making a JSON file that I can then import into Sanity. I'll quickly show you what I've done there. So I've created a template that um, I set the permalink to something.json. Then I removed it from the collections. And then I just looped through the books. I only have books on this website, so that's easy. And then I basically make an object that has the data in there. So, so basically, this, this outputs the data. Now, a couple of things to point out. The authors and publishers, I decided actually these are arrays because you could have multiple publishers involved and, and definitely multiple authors. So they're an array of strings now. They, they used to be just a string. I also have an image here. Basically, the way that images worked in my current setup is that I had JPEG files that were in the covers folder that had the same name as the books. So I could basically call them with the file slug that I got from the file, which, you know, is not very clever, but uh, it works unless I forget to add a cover, but then I get an error and I, I add it in. So it's, it's no big deal. But basically what I can do with this um, preparing this stuff for uh, importing it to Sanity is that I can actually um, create uh, an image object and then I give it a sanity asset, which is basically a pointer to where that book lives, which I can do because I have the file slug. And then sanity is going to upload the files that I've pointed to from my local file system into the sanity content CDN. Uh, and that's cool because then they exist as sanity images and then I can like do useful things with them. And then what I did is remove the white space and put one per line. And the reason for that is that Sanity expects um, new line delimited JSON, so anti JSON. And that's basically objects where each object is on, on one line uh, for importing purposes. So I, I went on to do that. So uh, how do I get them into Sanity? Uh, I can, so I have the JSON file available in index.json. Uh, you can see it here. And basically what I run is Sanity dataset imports. Uh, I give it the file index.json. Uh, and then I give it the name of the data set. Now, usually that's an existing data set. Uh, in this case, I realized I didn't have the books because I wanted to show you what it looks like. So I'll do it in a new data set. It's going to go on and import them. So each of the uh, objects I put into that new line delimited JSON is going to become a document in Sanity. Uh, and then it's going to go on to import assets. So basically uploading my JPEGs. That takes a while, it takes like a minute. Uh, and then when that's done, I can see my books and um, I can look at the books and I can see like the data actually looks the same, like it's the same structure. And now when I build a front end or, you know, I'll probably use the same 11 D that I already have. But then instead of looking at the markdown files that I have, I'll just grab them from Sanity on build time so that, um, yeah, it's easier for me to manage. Now the manager aspect, I built a thing yesterday where I basically take an ISBN number and then I'm able to press lookup. It's going to grab some data from open library. It's going to display that to me. And if I like it, I press use for this book and it's going to put all the data that it found into the relevant fields. Uh, it doesn't do it with the image. And I wasn't sure how to do it without like relying on a, a serverless function or something. So I basically left it like that and then just drag the image into the 
image uploader, and that actually works because it's a drag and drop thing. Uh, so that's cool. The image is also in there. I can add a few more fields, like the language doesn't come from the API. That's fine. It's only one piece of data. I can add it manually. Based on the ISBN again, um, yeah, I probably didn't have to because I already had it. Uh, and then I um, put in a year so that I can use that for display. And here we go. So I've got all my book data in one place and I can even access this for mobile. And it's great to be able to store this stuff into some place that's not uh, Goodreads. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'll probably expand on it. Like I wanna build a view where I can browse my books by author, by publisher, that kind of thing. Maybe even by pages or something, like do something interesting there. I I'm just really happy I, uh, I have this now and I wanted to share that with you.